99X, the morning X, it's Barnes and Leslie, but not today, it's Barnes and Ed, and the nerves are at an all-time high. We're about to reveal the collective soul Rushmore. All right. And I want to get your prediction before we get to it, but I want to get another caller who is still on hold. Good morning. Who is this? This is Miranda. Hey, Miranda. You're on with Ed Roland. Hey, Miranda. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How exciting. (laughs) (laughs) And it sounds like it, Miranda. You're just... you're are cooking. You're... Sorry. Sorry, I'm at work. No, it's just a joyful moment. Where do you work? I work for the city of Douglasville. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I want to know the most annoying thing that has happened to you with a fan at a concert. The most annoying thing. Ooh. With a fan at a concert? What could they do? We've been, uh, well, I got knocked out a couple of times in the 90s, people throwing stuff at me. You were knocked out? Yeah, twice. So that's that's kind of wow. annoying. That's kind of annoying. I think that would qualify. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just say throwing heavy objects on the stage. Certainly not not in the Atlanta area, though, right? No. Uh, both times was up in the Northeast, because I remember one was in, I want to say Vermont. Like hit with a bottle? Yeah, a bottle of water. And then you just went down? Yeah. Cigarette lighter hit me the first time. It hit me right in the temple. And when you wake back up, do you just jump up and go, what the hell happened? No, I had to stop the show. Oh, really? Yeah, I was, I was cockeyed. Wow. <laughs> that, that begs another question, and I'm sure Miranda would like to hear this answer, too. So, in the hypothetical that you get knocked out in a show and the show must go on, which Collective Soul member would you trust to sing? Well, I don't trust him. The only one that would would be Will. <laughs> Will, <laughs> but you don't trust him? I don't trust him, but Will would do it. Oh, I want to hear Dean sing. Good luck. Babe, just spit me out. <laughs> that would be some fun. All right, Miranda, thank you. Have a great day over thank there you, in Miranda. Douglasville. We'll see ya. you. You too. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, before we get to the Rushmore, Ed, what do you think are the four that the people voted as the biggest songs? So on our set list, there's seven or eight that we always include in the set list. So I'm going to go with my... Like a pick. research thing? Like you know that these are the ones people want? Yeah, it's the one. It's the songs that people... While we're on stage, if that makes sense. So okay. I'm going to have to say Shine. Okay. I'm going to say Heavy. Okay. River Flows and World. Those are... Okay, those are the four. You heard it from Ed's mouth without not, knowing. Not in any order, but I'm just curious what they would think. Yeah, and he has no idea. And I'm going to open the official... And the winner is... I've had them sealed in here. So here are the four. Okay, here, this is probably one of the closest votes we've ever had. Really? And here are the songs, a few of them, that got a chunk of the vote, but not enough to be in the top four. Precious Declaration... Okay. ...had 2.8% of the vote. Needs. Interesting. 6.9% of the vote. She Said... It's one of my favorites. 8.3% of the vote. December and Run tied with 9.7% of the vote. Wow. So that's outside looking in. Okay. All right, here we go. Front, and then none of, they're all equal, but I'm going to tell you who got the most vote. A Morning X first. We have two songs. They're tied for third and fourth. Never happened before with 11.1% of the vote. And you can see how close that is. December and Run just on the outside looking right. in. So the first one, second single from Dosage, which would be... Was that one of the ones that you chose? I was. I'm one for one right now. One for one. All right. And the one that tied it, I don't think you chose this one. Here's the tie to come in, I guess, you know, equally in fourth. So it could be that we played the hell out of that, and that could have, like, biased some people. Some of the listeners. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I mean... Tied for, you know, third and fourth. Speaking of Dean, he does sing that in live. He'll do Shake It Up. He does? Yeah. I hand him the microphone, he does it. <laughs> so that's the only time you hear Dean sing. It's more of a scream than it is a sing- song. Uh, All right. Number two got 13.9% of the vote. And a lot of people are going to think this was number one, but it's number two. And you chose that. So. I did. And you know, two out of three. So I far. thought maybe it would be number one. So the only one what that you haven't that hasn't come to you know your um, your pick. I think it's to world. fruition. Wouldn't it world? So what would you be willing to bet 
on that being number one? You want to put some money on it? All right. 20 bucks. You're because you hate to wager. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you how much I won the last week, so you know I'm good for it. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. March Madness. Okay, so here it is. Number one with 15.2%. Of the vote is Ed Roland Wright. Does he know his babies? Congratulations, you know your music. Uh, yes, I do. So, That's... what does that make you feel when you hear that? Like when you, it's funny to look at you when that is playing. Like when you hit the button and you hear it. Where does that take you? Uh, it takes me to when we play it live on stage. It's truly one of the just just seeing the people's emotion, like seeing people can... singing. Yeah, you know they they sing it for us. And it's just, uh, we, we, we love, once again, we love playing. So that's a really special moment in the show for us, selfishly, for the band. That's got to be such a cool moment to look out and see people sing on the thousands back to you songs that you wrote. Right, 30 years later, if you think about it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a it's All right. honor and humbling. Well, there you go. Collective Soul Rushmore. And with that, let's get back into the new record, May 17th, Here to Eternity. Now this one, Sister and Mary, starts off like no Collective Soul song I've ever heard. I was running on fumes. The, you know, those four days I had to write ten songs, so I had eight and I wrote... Well, hold on. Big, you said you had to. So I you, didn't have to, but we had Elvis' house for three weeks still left, and they had already recorded ten songs, so I was going to take advantage while I had the band there. Okay. And the recording, it's all set up, so let's just see what we can do. And I... I just put the guitar down. I was just, I would, I'd just run out of ideas. So I just sat at the piano and that I wrote that one. The last one, next to the last one. Then I wrote the Be the One the next morning. So I just I just wanted something different and I knew Will would love it because it has a big Beatles influence kind of vibe to it. And Dino came up with that cool guitar riff. And the uh, rest is history. And then you did you you actually recorded it in the house also, right? Yeah, well, we just we we play live as a band, record live as a band. So all like in the living room? Correct. At Elvis's house, which Correct. just blows me away. All right, check it out. New music, never heard before on the radio. It's called Sister and Mary. This is New Collective Soul on 99X. Sister and Mary, that is New Collective Soul on 99X. So cool that you're leaking these songs to the people of your city. There you go. It's our city. It is. Ed Always Roland. will be is here hanging out for Leslie today who's probably deep into some barbecue ribs in Austin by this point. Getting some chili today. I think it's chili day it's for chili her. Day. It's chili <laughs> day. They open early. She'll be back on the show tomorrow. All right, there's more. More new Collective Soul to roll out. We'll get to it in just a few. This is the original hanging out with Ed Roland on 99X.